All right, what's up guys? Uh, Murphy coming back again with a new episode. And this video actually running a bit late because I mean, I got this pieces already for a few months and I already saw some people posting same content, but still I didn't see anyone reviewing that jacket. So that's the reason I'm doing a video right here. So, all these pieces, like on my right and left, are from Bare Knuckles. So, Bare Knuckles is like a new up upcoming brand in 2018 by Jacob J. Taylor and Cole My Dad. So, those two guys um, previously been working at Marcus. And everyone probably knows Jacob J. Taylor is like the OG like fashion YouTuber or like a streetwear YouTube thing. And then just starting their own brand. I mean, see him evolving from as he said, like half snapback review to all the, his own personal brand in like six years. And uh, this is all the pieces. I missed out on the denim jacket. I'm hoping grabs that one on the wrist up. So, so speaking of that release, actually I think we released on, I can't really recall, I think it's June. And that red denim jacket literally sold out, I think not even five minutes, like my size, like either medium or large, probably three minutes or less. When I get on the site, when it's released, I still, you know, judging the sizing or like look at the fit picture. And when I try to check out, it's already gone. So, and so was the, the denim jean, which is, I was, I was so shocked. Um, I think they, they're, they're gonna sell out because you know, this is the first run, it's a small batch, but I'm really not thinking they're gonna sell out that quick. I was thinking, oh, maybe like 20, 30 minutes, it probably like people will like buy it out. But yeah, that was really, really shocking. And I heard the restocks coming soon, so stay tuned. All right, let's get started with my favorite item out of his first collection. So, this is this thing. So this is like a, a full canvas work jacket with a really, really like wide body and a cropped lens. It's like a full washed canvas material with this like really nice uh, corduroy color. So the first time I saw this jacket on their teaser, I definitely feel in love because I've been wearing like almost the same style I mean either it's a Stone Island jacket or just a regular like a coat jacket just day-to-day -day work I mean for quite a long time I mean and this I really just like it how it feels and this washed vintage destroyed look with this like ashy gray color I mean it's just amazing and also the cut it's like super wide cropped and uh, Definitely also a really good layering piece. So yeah. So first of all, I'm gonna try to talk about the, the hardwares. And as they said, yep, all the zipper and the button is from either Riri or from Ricagni. So Ricagni is like one of the best zipper suppliers in Europe. Like all the mainline recovery zipper and like no matter it's shoes or jeans, like air cut, they are using this Rekagani zipper. And in this jacket, like the front one is like too huge one. Also this two pocket is both Rekagani. Yeah, as you can see right here. So, I mean, the hardware is definitely amazing. Also for the button, the button is from Corvax, which is like a sub brand by Riri. So definitely like the material wise, this jacket is full of the luxury feeling. I mean, by material itself, this, this jacket is not less than any other like designer brand jacket, for sure. And uh, so on the inside, it's like really simple polyester lining and um, has this like white bare neck neck tag. I mean, probably the lining is the only thing. I'm a little bit like disappointed. Uh, it just I feel, I feel like it's a little bit thin and it's not like uh, sticked into the garment. Maybe maybe if if I I'm, I'm probably doing some coated design or 
just I just feel like the the heavy canvas and the light polyester is not that matchy. But still, like nonetheless, it still this doesn't bother me at all. I mean. And here's the wash, wash tag. I, I don't know how, who is a like reference, but I mean the wash tag gave me a little bit like a fear of God uh, vibe. I mean this all this like uh, really shiny glossy tag which is like white font on it. So I believe they imported the material from Europe and they are manufactured in California. So yeah, and actually uh, for this jacket, I think I found an Acne Studio jacket. I'm not sure if it's the, that's the prototype they're based on, or like they, they saw the jacket, they have some like inspiration going on there. But I think I found like a Acne Studio jacket is pretty much similar to this one, which is really interesting. So I, I will post a picture right here. And one design we have is here on the shoulder so you see this is line or this design to increase your like shoulder or elbow mobility in a lot of like a bomber jacket i think the original design or like the first time i saw it is from hyder eichmann um almost all his bomber having this thing here and or or i should say this thing is initially from all the biker jacket and then from a bomber jacket, the first time I saw from like Hyder Ackerman and definitely Fear of God is like God's design from there. Then almost like all the like bomber jacket, high end bomber jacket, you can see something similar like this. And uh, also speaking of the construction, like the whole jacket, the main stitch will be a triple line stitching which is definitely amazing. Like the last item I got have this triple line stitching is a pair of Acne Studio Max Denim. So yeah, this is definitely like my favorite piece despite the retail is like the highest. I think the retail is like 375 for a startup brand for like a, for a new coming up brand with all this like hardware, with the design, with the, you know, the production process. I can pretty confident saying like all the pricing they made is really really fair to be honest and I think they probably will increase a little bit more for their next collection in order to have like a better margin on the wholesale. So yeah let's just, let's just hope they didn't but I don't know like we would need to wait until October. Here's the next item. Actually, didn't get this one from their website. So one of my friends bought this one, and he happened to bought too many pants during the month. So I'd be like, hey, let me let me take care of this one. So he he like resold it to me, and uh, initially I thought it won't fit because this is like tag set thirty, but since it's high waisted, it fits me perfect, amazing. So. So this is the Bare Knuckles uh, salvaged skinny high waist denim. This is uh, like the description on the website. So pretty much the same color uh, versus uh, the jacket. So give you this like a dark gray, a little bit like oiled. If you can see here, yeah, it has this like oil wash thing going on. And another thing is like this one is savage i mean although i think there's they added like one there's a one or two percent of uh, elastic is a, li a little bit stretch it doesn't affect the fit at all so and design wise i'm really a big fan of this uh this two back pocket salvage line here it's really i mean it's pretty unique i really didn't see uh, other brand did that so so this is the original like a pocket and then they just add this like savage fabric on top of it. Yeah, this is, I think this is probably like the, the original design right here. And here's the uh, Baranaco backpack. Yeah. So all the hardware is the same as the uh, jacket is from Kovax. So 
yeah definitely uh, the feet is like uh, as he said this is like a high waist denim so I definitely feel like this is way more comfortable than I mean if I'm wearing my son on denim or there's less pressure on your body and actually this pair I've already been wearing a ton pretty much like almost every day for the past month so I don't know if you can see I hope like after fade it's probably gonna look better for sure yeah there's not much going on here because still like if it's raw denim it's really easier to get some nice fading but since this one is already washed and also have some like a stretch into it it's gonna be hard to build any like fading or any anything into it so yeah all right so this is another pair of denim from bare knuckles this is their wide leg cropped high waist denim uh, not lacking the previous one this one didn't have that oil wash or that grayish ashy is each coloring into it this is one this one is just like a stone wash black stone wash and I believe this using Italian fabric on this one instead of Japanese fabric so um, I mean the dead jean or like the white crop jeans always been in the same I'm really glad they are making the clothes they are liking that's like a really, really important aspect as like as a designer or like us just as like uh, people love fashion because I mean it's, the initial idea is not like just hey I'm gonna make a ton of money yeah so so same laser laser tag in the back and um, uh, same re recall brass button so yeah and uh, just to mention this one is a size 30 and this one is a size 32 so actually I kind of like a size that because still they didn't have like a middle size they only had like 30, 32, 34, 36 so I'm kind of in between so I, I stumbled on the sizing yeah and uh, same with the jacket this is triple stitching like this is like this is how the quality goes this is shows how how good the quality is for this thing so all right all right guys that's everything i have for this video and uh, there will be some fitting picture of this item so hope you guys enjoy it and fully support bare knuckles in 2018 Peace out.